Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, wherever you're um, lifting up the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, and get out of the way so this wonderful man can get by on his bike. Yeah, see, so do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah. Bless you. Bye. All right, so anyway, I'm going to just set my water down. You know, we have a good, good father. Do you know that Jesus loves you? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he doesn't change at all. He's always for you. Yeah, he thinks about you day and night, and night and day. Yeah, yeah, Jesus loves you, bless you. Yeah, bless all these people that are working hard. Jesus. So we're reading the epistles today. First off, the Lord wants me to go because that you must be born again in order to enter into the kingdom of God. You must be born again in order to enter into the kingdom of God. There's no other way but by the precious blood of Jesus that you can be saved, healed, redeemed, Go to heaven. There's only one name that's above every name. And his name is Jesus. And every knee will bow and every tongue should confess that he is King of kings, Lord of lords. He is the I am that I am. He is I am everything that you need. Everything that you need is found in him. It's not found in a person. It's not found in a car. It's not found in the nicest house. It's only found in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. You can't get healed any other way except through the blood of Jesus. If you're sick, you can call upon the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ is his name. He is the King of glory. He is El Shaddai. He is the hope of glory. He is the Lord that is more than enough. Yeah. He came and he bled on the cross for you so that you can live, so that you can have life, and so that you can have life more abundantly, so you can pass from death into life, so that your brokenness can be healed, so that he's near to the brokenhearted, he heals your mind. He gives you the mind of Christ. He heals your heart. He knows where all the pieces are. You may not know where the pieces are, but Jesus knows where all the pieces are. Yeah, he loves you. So we're worshiping Jesus. We're reading. So just know that Jesus loves you, and I thank you, Lord, that you're bringing people here today. Yeah. So we're reading Romans chapter 9. We're staying in the Word. This is a Bible. Y'all need to own this and read this. Okay? Romans chapter 9. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also being with me witness in, in the Holy Ghost. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertains the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God blessed forever, amen. 
as though the word of God had taken that effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac. They which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word, a promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall give it, shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that calls. It was said unto her that the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is God fair and righteous? God is is there a righteousness with God? God forbid. For he that says to Moses, I will have mercy on them. I will have mercy. On whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then is it not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of God that shows mercy. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be declared on all the earth. Jesus says you. Therefore has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardens. You will say then unto me, Why does he yet find faith? For who has resisted his will? No, but no man. Who are you that replies against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why have you made me this? Has not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel of the honor and another of the dishonor? But if God, willing to show his wrath, and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. And that he might make known the riches of his glory, of the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Even us, whom he has called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he says also in O.C., I will call them my people, which are not my people. Precious sons. Yeah, thank you, Lord, for people coming into the kingdom, Lord. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Esaias. Also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a raiment shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And as Isaiah says before, except the Lord of the Sabbath, had left us a seed, we have been as Saddam and been made unlike Gomorrah. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which follow not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of the faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, has not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at the stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whosoever 
The knees on him shall not be ashamed. Romans chapter 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I know that my good that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, has not submitted themselves under the righteousness of God. For Moses describes the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith spoken on this wise. Say not in your heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is, to bring Christ again from the dead. By what says it? The word is, is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the word of faith. Which you shall confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus it shall believe in your heart. That God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their song went into the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people. And by a foolish nation I will anger you. But I say, this is very bold. It says, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he says, all the day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Thank you for your word, Lord. We are reading the epistles today. Yeah. Hey, bring your friend over here.
better see who Jesus is, right? Yeah.